ago and uh, sadly it's second defeat of the season for Dagenham and Redbridge tonight but the boys look to put in a spirit in effort. Yeah definitely, I think we um, never gave up and we still had a chance at the end. I think it was unfortunate not to get something at the end but we still got to take a positive out of it, everyone was still going through it, we never gave up so I think we should got to carry on doing it then. Probably went into to half time unfortunate to be behind, had the lion's share of possession, had most of the chances. They start all down as your football, isn't it? It just takes a second to score a goal, one that slips out the end of defence and makes time we're in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, we let in see two silly goals, but um, we still had chances, so I think we still got to take that positive. Something that you can take into Saturday, uh, definitely as a positive, because the way we've always finished the game tonight, obviously, really on the front foot, pushing for that equaliser, and that should give you the confidence to hopefully go out there and get the win, get to make it. Yeah, definitely. Everyone, everyone's still confident. Like, um, no one's put their heads down. So it's still one of the start of the season. So everyone, everyone's still like gelling together, and um, I think everyone's confident. Um, high, they're still in high spirits, even though we lost. But it's a good thing that we've got Saturday to make make amends of it. It's a completely different squad. Obviously, the one that was here last season. You're one of the new players to come in. I mean, just kind of tell us what it's been like just through the summer. Obviously. Lots of new faces coming in almost on a weekly basis. Yeah, it, um, it was a lot of new players, but I think we've gelled together very quickly, and um, that's a that's a big positive. So everyone's there together, everyone's working hard together. Uh, very young squad, and like everyone's up for it. So yeah, you're back here obviously at the club for a, for a second stint. Spent last season at Eastleigh, but what was it that made you want to come back to Victoria Road? Um, I obviously spoke to Peter Taylor and he told me what was happening and um, it's obviously close to home for me and I wanted to be back home and so, so it's a perfect opportunity for me to come in and obviously a young squad and now me as a senior lad, uh, all the young boys got a, uh, kind of looking up to me so I've got to step up in that way, be a bit more vocal and hopefully I can help the team. So obviously looking to be an experienced head and uh, mentioned this to Lee on Saturday and it looks like yourself and, and him have struck up a good bond this season. Do you, you kind of see yourself as being a mentor for the other younger fullbacks in the squad? Yeah, definitely. I've, I try and help them as much as I can. Um, if they come to me, I'll help them as much as I can as, as, long as, uh, as well as Ben done. So there's another guy there that even I'm, I'm still learning as well. So. In terms of obviously looking for that first win of the season, hopefully it does come on Saturday. But how important is it for the fact that this is a new team with a new management team? How important is it to get that win on the board as early as possible? Yeah, I think if it will come. Um, if we carry on doing what we're doing and just stop out the city goals for them. But I think uh, it will definitely come.